Hello world and welcome back to another video. This is day whatever day I'm at. Um, but instead of just like talking like, oh, I did this today, I was thinking, what if I had like some informative thing to begin with? Like, this is what I learned today and I can show you that I learned something. Um, so today I'm gonna do a quick little video and then hopefully in the future these will be a little more polished, but you know, I'll try to make like a video on like this is how to do something I figured out in Blender or DaVinci Resolve or what have you. And then at the end of the video, maybe I'll be more chatty instead of right now at the beginning where I'm just being chatty. Uh, so I was trying to recreate some stuff for uh, um, like, a, like a horror film, right? I'm just selecting these and pressing X to delete. So to do that, I thought, okay, we need uh, some crosses and have them at funky angles and make a, a graveyard. So let's see if we can do that. So I just went to go find an image on the internet for reference. And then you go shift A and I just do a search because I'm lazy. Um, I think it's image plane. Uh, we go desktop and we go cross. Do that. And you're like, well, where's the cross image? It's right there. And I think if we go to render, we can see it. And if I go to viewport shading, toggle x-ray, which is uh, option Z. Maybe that doesn't work. If I press W, no. A, damn it. All right, yeah, uh, as you can see, I'm pro at this. Um, let's go. Escape here, and then we'll go shading. No wireframe. I don't think I need wireframe. I swear this is how I worked it before. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, this is how informative these videos are going to be. Anywho. Wow, this is not working as I was thinking. Um, all right, let's just bring it in as a reference on the side. It's probably not the best way to do it. So we'll pop that right there. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull this over so I can actually see it. And I'll say, what do we say? If we line that up to there roughly, it's probably not the best way to do things. We'll do it like that. Um, right there. And yeah, I should have done a practice test. So this is just roughly uh, one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four. No, we'll just go three. I don't know. Anywho, this is, uh, and I got to delete the image. So I go here to the cross and I go X. Now we just got our cube and we will come over to the top here and go to the front probably and command scroll. Well, that's what I set up on my MacBook Air. I'll go G to grab Z to move it in the up and down and just press one. And I think that's a good starting point. I'll go tab to edit and if we are in the x-ray mode yep should have selected all these um then i can go back to front then i can say what was that one two three we'll just say three so i'll just go g z and then i'll press three looks good and then i'll go e to extrude and then just one, maybe two, oops, it's going to be it's adding it, so instead of one, two, it that made 12, so now I'll go two, and that looks good, and I'll go E to extrude again, and then we'll just go three, or I'll go backspace one, and then go two, because if not, like I said, it's going to be 31 or whatever I put on there, so I hit enter, I'll come over here, I'll, select, I'll go press three on my keyboard, which goes into face mode, go there, 
and then I will go back to this and we'll go E to extrude and pull it out to out of there. Eh, there. Maybe there. This is really bad. I should have had the reference image. Um, but I'm not editing these and just trying to go with the flow. So this is the horrible tutorial of how not to do things. <sighs> that looks kind of lopsided, but eh, it looks vaguely like a cross. So now we'll go tab back into uh, object mode. Get x-ray off. Looks probably a bit thick, so we'll S for scale and then press Y. Scale, eh, that looks too thin. I don't know. Maybe that's fine. That's fine. We'll zoom out here a little bit and we'll go into like a rendered mode and we'll go Shift A and go Spotlight. And I'll just pull this up here and I'll go R to rotate along the X axis. Yeah, that looks about right. And then I'll pull this back, kind of make it backlit or something. I get the light to actually hit it. It's in rendered mode, right? Grab this little yellow thing here. Yeah, why is it not? And we got the reference there. Pull this up. It's not rendering. That is so weird. Let me drop this down there and go to the light. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Anyway, there you go. You got a cross that's not getting rendered properly or I'm not doing something correctly on my Blender stuff. So you can see I've learned obviously a ton about Blender in the last, I don't know, a couple of days. And this is now a seven minute video. But let me know in the comments, like, do you want to see me messing around with stuff? Or like, no. That would not be helpful. Um, yeah. But now we go here and go. Was it shifty? Yeah, shifty. We go there. Make a whole bunch of crosses. And we go, you know, rotate along the Z axis. And then rotate along the X axis. Or maybe the Y. There we go. Whoa. Not all the way. And we just kind of make a whole bunch of crazy looking, you know, uh, crosses all over the place and make a graveyard scene. So that'd be fun. Uh, what I could do, command in and go general. Oops, cancel. Maybe it's command O. Nope, cancel. Uh, we'll just go file, open recent, untitled. This is what I was working on. I'm not going to save any of that. So here's a little camera view. And if we go to here and then we go here, you can see we got like a cross with some like hills and some big clouds in the background. Uh, but yeah, grab this and try to like, there we go. Look at that. Uh -huh. Figured it out. And then I set it up to have alpha channel and uh, yeah, looks kind of cool possibly for a background, but uh, yeah. So that's what I've been learning. I've been learning Blender and listening to audiobooks on Libya about directors and actors and trying to figure things out. And here's to another nine minute video of me rambling and doing stuff. So I'll try to actually kind of learn something and hopefully start out the videos with something a little more polished and where I'm somewhat knowledgeable about vaguely. Um, and then try to kind of show what I'm learning instead of just like, meh, I kind of did this, but yeah, and figure out what I was doing wrong in Blender because that other one, I thought I had it to viewport shading and in this one I do and look at the lighting is affecting things. So I don't know, but a lot to learn to figure out the tools to make anything halfway decent. So, well, not to make anything halfway decent. I'm sure we could make halfway decent stuff without all these tools. We could simplify our workflow, but I was like trying to do digital backlot stuff and I want to play around with stylizing things and I don't know. 
So, depends on things. Let me know if you use Blender or DaVinci in, in your movie making, or if you make movies, I guess. But, this is 10 minutes, so I'm gonna say thank you so much. Or is it 10 minutes? Maybe I started recording early. Maybe I can trim out. So I don't edit these, I just trim off the end in the beginning. Because these are supposed to be uploaded daily. Uh, but anyway, I'll stop talking now, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you, uh, or you'll see me, or whatever, next time. Ta-ta.